you know, I couldn't have said it better myself, but we're about to uh, learn a whole new definition of what the actual hell is happening on your screen right now. Yeah. We, we, we're <laughs> yeah. going to have Zero, Zero Suit Samus versus the Enderman. And we're going to be running it over to Smashville. So I am, I, I still have to learn all of the different levels in terms of what the primary materials will be changed to. Uh, I know that some of them have different setups and I'm not sure if Smashville happens to fall into that category just yet, but a smaller stage, a, uh, easier for Webb to zone break and stay in the face of J-Mafia is definitely going to be very good for uh, Webb because not only do you have to wor uh, worry less about the idea of dodging around minecarts with just a flat stage you can maneuver around the top part and put some pressure on but so far it's working exactly how j mafia has been playing against everyone else just hanging back putting up the wall putting minecart out in the way and then just getting free mix-ups out of it afterwards and barely ever decides to set up and go for like gold sword and stuff just you know continuing to win with the usage of the wooden sword yeah no I believe the primary resources you're going to see a lot of on the stage is obviously wood and uh, and uh, dirt. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how uh, that affects things in the long run. Um, especially with the amount that J-Mafia likes to use the minecart. Uh, that was an odd exchange. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. And, yeah, missing the up smash and it'll oh, get punished by an up B uh, from WebJP. So does Zero Suit Samus. Uh, looking, you know, mighty clean on his first stock, and <laughs> even your, uh, you know, broken terraforming uh, is no match for uh, a woman in heels. Exactly. Oh, oh sweet my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was going to say, what's a God do a boost kick, uh, but, it, you know, get eventually get hit out. And Ew. that quick damage of 40%. Did not expect that. But that was just, nice. Yeah, that was really clean. Like, I really like how J-Mafia just maximizes the short strings in the right ways, and just kind of hanging out at the ledge just enough. Also, I'm not sure what Webb was looking for. They're probably looking for like a buffered air dodge in because maybe a weird interaction there, but didn't get anything out of it. Ooh, I like the use of putting the uh, the mine block right in front of uh, you know the crafting table, mm -hmm. uh, so that way you actually cannot hit the crafting table until you get rid of the block. So, yeah, but the back air will secure that stock right there, so MGP goes up a stock. Yeah, good call. Calling the jump out after that side B, you know, it's kind of similar to the same thing when you see a coupling or someone along the lines of that. They're going to probably want to jump when you're approaching in those positions. And Webb's starting to catch a lot of these whiffed up smashes directly in front of uh, J-Mafia. It's like you pointed out before, even though that up B is really, uh, excuse me, the up smash is extremely strong, you're vulnerable on the side. So if you happen to pull the trigger a little bit too early, but Webb just trying to <laughs> throw and put every bit of effort to get J-Mafia into that TNT. But finally that up smash is going to come through. Yeah, the dynamite not coming uh, you know, in favor right there for Webb, but so that's a little percent lead. Uh, however, there is iron on the table uh, for J-Mafia right now, but doesn't have a great amount of resources right now to play with. So yeah. as long as WebJP can keep this pressure applied, uh, you know, things could really look rough for J-Mafia, but a great recovery right there of the up B. Yeah, good maneuverability right there. And Enderman is just straight up a carpenter right now. Just only wood on deck. And unfortunately, the boost is going to uh, come through and just put the sealed victory on that web was able to really win when they were up next to each other like majority of the people that j mafia has been fighting against uh everybody's kind of been jumping really fast to get caught by that up smash and it caught uh web a few times but that time it seemed like web as the set progressed realized you know what doesn't really have the best out of shield options out of like maybe outside of maybe a jab or an up smash so if i just chill out uh, I'm not going to take a hard punish here. So that was really good adjustment from Webb as this, as that match progressed. Yeah, no, again, uh, as good as some of these moves that Steve has is, you know, up close, uh, or at least when you have space to react to them, uh, especially things like up smash that are very strong, but, you know, the risk of leaving yourself wide open is is, is huge. So, mm -hmm. you know, in those up close exchanges, obviously Webb looks like he would uh, come on on top there, but hey, it, it's a long set. We're in best of five territory now, so let's see what the... Uh, the rest of the set has in store for us. We obviously know that Jay Mafia is not afraid to switch characters if he needs to. So, yes, I, we, we'll definitely be seeing uh, Tour de France when it comes to these two. When it comes uh, like the, the selection of the characters they have, whether it be the Lucas or the ZSS, or as we saw in that last match, the Yoshi. There's also the Rob that's available, but I don't think we'll see the Rob get picked just because of the fact that the ZSS is currently being used. You don't normally intentionally go into that matchup unless you have a perfect stage in favor for you. 
So I'm not too surprised to see the switch to this Yoshi after we saw how well it played against uh, Trader in the last set. And it's really just one of the best characters that he has amongst the ones we've seen that's going to be able to beat air-to-air -air trades against Zero Suit. And that time, just, you know, going for a deer a few times, uh, covering what could potentially be a jump, and then just waited for Webb to finally pull the trigger and get some damage. Yeah, no, air-to-air, -air, it's definitely going to be slightly easier for WebJP. Uh, however, uh, you know, because Mafia is switching to Yoshi, and Yoshi and Rob, you know, while they are different archetypes of characters, they both still... You know, bigger characters that are bigger targets to hit. So ZSS uh, could potentially have a field day with them. Um, Yoshi having a couple more reto recovery tricks to make uh, make things you know slightly easier in his uh, neck of the woods. But you know, we'll see how it all shakes out here, Ajax. Yeah, and one of the few characters uh, it, it, that could really handle the sh uh, like actually put shield pressure on Yoshi is ZSS because you have the taser shot, you have retreating Zares, you have the side B, so you could mix up on shield like right there looking for a shot. But that time, J Mafia getting the tech chase situation, covering the roll in and not taking anything else after the follow-up from invincibility drop good job j mafia taking the first stock uh I'm, I'm really liking the switch over to yoshi yeah no this character looks uh very comfortable and it's a character you see pretty commonly featured in these wi-fi brackets uh you know yeah, yoshi a character that, area <laughs> yeah yoshi's island unfortunately still is uh strong no matter what era of the world is <laughs> is uh you know rocking and we're still in the mesozoic era yeah, unfortunately, if we could just go to that part where it's post, you know, the Ice Age, where they just kind of all disappeared, that'd be great. But yeah, we can get to the part, yeah. <laughs> just show me the part where the Statue of Liberty is uh, destroyed. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's monkeys. So, <laughs> oh, forgive me. <laughs> well, you know, J Mafia looking like a maniac for right, right on cue. Uh, could go ahead and closing out what, another stock. Uh, and Webb currently down behind two. And we saw what happened with uh, the Trader game is that once J Mafia gets a stock like this, he was not afraid to dig extremely low off stage. Even after losing it to an up tilt right there, you gotta be wondering if you're Webb, if you get pushed off, how deep is J Mafia willing to go to go ahead and possibly get a trade and get a low percent kill? Yeah, no, uh, Webb's definitely gonna have to really pray to the ZSS gods at this point. Uh, Doing a good job in the ledge right there, but a nice spot dodge from J Mafia to avoid uh, further harm. Good trade, and again, just trying to weave in and out of space with the uh, the neutral B. Yeah, I like the way that you know Je we Web is starting to change it up a little bit. Go for retreating Zares. Try to cover the jumps rather than try and trade with the forward air. Because if you happen to catch a Nair, you get forced into one of those tech chase situations again. Like Cell, not going to roll in that time. But that, you know, that that's something you got to worry about now. Is JMoff, you're going to run up next time. Is he going to cover that roll away? You already caught you twice looking for, uh, you know, look for a forward smash last time. Does he cover it the next one? And again, J-Mop, just trying to create space with eggs and uh, these long-lasting hitbox of Yoshi. Trying to read the high recovery. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely had the right idea. ZSS is prone to do that, uh, especially when you're autopiloting. Just coming up short on that up smash. That most definitely, in my opinion, would have killed. Yeah, 100%. When in doubt, in emergency situations, press flip kick. Uh, it, that's, yeah, you see right there, j Mafia. Uh, trying to cover just at least a, the potential of another roll in one more time, but get a cover to landing there. Good job, but not gonna get the kill just yet. And Webb holding on by a thread. That shield poke is gonna take it. That back air oh, wow. is very good on retreat. So even if it doesn't hit right, uh, end up hit, hitting through right there, you still can fade away. And uh, you know that's gonna be game number two going to J Mafia. Yeah, no, excellent stuff right there from. Uh from J Mafia, evening things up at one apiece here. So obviously you're going to get that extra game to play in the set. So let's see if, uh, you know, we could potentially see a counter picky set here. I don't know if Webb has completely committed himself to uh, to all ZSS in his bracket, but, mm. you know, I've seen crazier things happen. Yeah, like I said, he's been using it a lot. Um, and I th I think I think the only way Webb switches off into Lucas is if he gets a stage that works in favor of the matchup. Um, sure. Because, yeah, that makes because, sense. Uh, like, if you go, if you go, end up giving up the like a stage that works in favor for J Mafia by the time it hits game four or five, now you're in a bad counterpick situation. So we're gonna see them stick with the characters, but we're gonna see a stage switch uh, from the looks of things, possibly back to FD. Uh, I don't think we see PS2, PS2, even though a good stage for ZSS definitely uh, in the category of the best stages for Yoshi. Well, we'll see what happens to happen here. I think we see a wider stage for sure. Uh, it's going to be Town and City. 
Yeah, not a bad choice at all. Obviously, having these platforms to escape to as well as to extend your own combos. You know, great for a character like ZSS that's primarily going to be fighting from above. Exactly, yeah. Just being able to extend that pressure. Uh, and but really, it, it works really well for both. But it also, it, it, it's just that comfort pick thing for uh, Web too. Web really likes that flat stage layout. So the one, once that once it move, moves out of the way, it's not too bad. So and thank you, Stu, coming through. Uh, but what is like what what's what's the change up? Like what do you do? How do you how do you slow down the pace uh, in the way that J Mafia has been playing? Like what what's the best way to shut down this it, like preemptive air to air approach game that J Mafia has been successful at doing and forcing you to stay grounded? Yeah, a big exchange you've seen is that uh, WebJP would, would kind of sit back and throw paralyzers. You're seeing him replace those paralyzers with Zare now. So, you know, instead of just clanking with the eggs, you're not clanking with the eggs as also keeping a uh, long-lasting hitbox out in front mm -hmm. of you. So, Yeah, it's definitely working a lot better so far. Finally gets an egg tray, uh, gets an egg shot in the air, gets a little bit of extra damage. Uh, J Mafia still sticking with the same plan. You see right there, J Mafia still play, like kind of holding on to roll distance. I think it's just kind of one of those things like eventually you fall into that trap of, okay, you did it four times. It's not going to do it again, right? And then you finally roll in and you get caught by it later. Uh, but J Mafia is doing a solid job of still conditioning, even being only slightly behind percent. Not really been put into a spot where a KO might happen and perfectly timed air dodge away. Because if you just uh, just a second later, that could have been possibly a stock. Yeah, no, that could have been very dangerous. Both players refusing to let go of his first stock here. Kind of a very scary change in the ledge right there. As Yoshi does have some quick, uh, you know, pass back to the ledge, so it could mm -hmm. lead to some potential scary ledge trump situations. Yeah, you, you saw it's like not only the ledge trump, but just immediately jump from ledge there to cover uh, what could be a flip kick or a jump off ledge. Like, J Mafia is really good at doing what a lot of people forget to do uh, as these matches progress against ZSS in targeting where the ZSS will end up, not where they are now. And it's just, it, it, you could see it, but good job finally. However, good DI away and the weight of Yoshi is going to keep J Mafia alive just a little bit longer after that up smash. Yep, unfortunately, Webb's uh, counter pick coming back to haunt him right there is the high ceiling of town and city. Uh, mm -hmm. Not uh, giving up that kill just yet. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, it Ooh. actually forced him. You know, he, he was so far away that it's like, okay, I have to fade back for a second because if I snap back in with the tether right away, uh, I'll probably get caught on that, and that ended up working out in J Mafia's favor. Yeah, no, just, again, just that presence of being there enough to put the fear of uh, getting ledge trumped in your opponent's uh, head. I say, if you start referring to Yoshi as God, and then the Yoshi community... I mean, they're going to start bringing out Halo emotes. They, they they already have a plethora of ready to go for them. <laughs> no, Yoshi has zero Hail Marys. We're going to see Yoshi uh, just <laughs> he's hanging out at the first table. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and on the third oh, day, God said, Mlem. Ooh, but there we go. The side beat <laughs> will take that stock right there. So back on even footing and not too bad of a percent of it for Web uh, to make up here. But uh, J Mafia, uh, he's been... Pretty uh, comfortable as the straw starting to drink in this game, uh, Ajax. He's looked yeah, very, very sure. comfortable. Yeah, reserved, relaxed, and really just committed to the bit. Like, just kind of, you just hang out far enough away to cover any if any approach that Webb wants to go for on a short hop. Just put out these forward airs as a fear tactic. What? Never approach. Just hang out and wait for them to come to you. That's it. pretty much kind of what we saw out of the Steve before, too. But it's working so well in this matchup, and Webb's just forced to hunt uh, for a lot of damage that he just cannot find right now. Yeah, no, and that whiff grab could have been disastrous for Webb right there. Ooh, and it still is, as the back air uh, will connect. So, uh, J Mafia has himself up big right here in the rubber game. Yeah, well, currently in a position to possibly go down, not going to drop off the, that platform there looking for an early KO. But it's really just one of the things that Yoshi has going for him in terms of avoiding the great equalizer is if you're trying to hunt for those nears on, in those positions, you could match that double jump and possibly get out of there with some armor or you could just wait for it to, you know, the reads from the nears to come and beat it out with your own nair out of shield. And that's really just one of the big things that's kind of shut down Webb's gameplay is that 
there there hasn't been on shield pressure because J Mafia doesn't ever stay still. There it is though, finally gonna get him at the ledge with that forward air. Uh, currently behind 105%, so an F tilt to off air could close it out. That time reading the air dodge in and not gonna do it, so possibly another one gets the anti air with the up smash. And J Mafia not playing any games, just going in there and closing that right away. Yep, the bicycle kick will uh, take care of that stock right there. And yeah, again, great game from uh, J Mafia there. The Web JP just, you know, unfortunately, you know, once the lead was taken from him, that was, uh, you know, pretty much it. Again, ZSS. Mm -hmm. Isn't a character that I can just kind of bowl you over and, and uh, you know, like games past where, you know, she's incredibly explosive and mm -hmm. and has this uncanny ability to, to take stocks. Uh, you know, you kind of have to uh, sweat a little bit harder than you would in the past. And, you know, we'll see if, uh, you know, I guess, again, WebJP looks pretty comfortable. I'm assuming, looks like we're getting a run back uh, because nobody left the arena. So, yeah, it looks like we're running back to the same stage. Like, really, one of the big things uh, that J Mafia is doing so, so successfully is that. When you're playing against a character who is so strong on defense uh, and really just kind of makes you pay for holding forward too much, Yoshi is capable of camping back like that. And you don't see it too, too often amongst most of them, you know, but J Mafia is just committed to that. It's like, why should I ever go in unless you can prove to me that you can open me up out on the other side of the stage? He's really just been hanging out at the left for most of the time. But it's worked. It's it's kind of cut off the resources that Web can usually work with with those short hops, uh, short hop forwarders out of shield or the retreating zares, because you can't really hit it that much on the on the side of the stage. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, you know, we'll see if Web JP can buy himself some more time here, or if it'll be J Mafia moving on into a winner side of grand finals. And so right now, you know, it's looking like a lot of the first game, but. You know, Yoshi without any resources and just able to get back to the ledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, you know, able to get a few trades in there, get some extra damage, get up to 55%. J Mafia also, when he, uh, he's forced to go in, actually puts on, like, big damage too. Like, the few times that he does interact, he's capitalizing on, like, solid 30 to 40% at a time. So that that's, in its in and of itself, very annoying, very stress-inducing. Also, another character who has found their way out of the loving embrace of that up smash <laughs> from ZSS. Uh, I think some tools are currently dysfunctional for Web, as we saw versus Gaio, and now in this one. That time, there it is. Every other time, you know, he's been freely able to roll uh, roll away or avoid the roll in, and then J Mafia goes and covers it here in what could be the last game. Uh, that that multi-game conditioning really coming through there. Yeah, no, absolutely great stuff there from uh the J Mafia, you can just like the, the ever uh, intricacies of Yoshi, man, just able to get away with uh, murder, taxes, you know, the whole nine yards sometimes. So, and now, uh, yeah, this is exactly what this is exactly what we we're anticipating at some point. J Mafia has been chilling, almost in shield and on ledge throughout most of it. Now, you let the gas pedal go. You just start going in because you're up two games to one currently, and you're up two stocks. So you just keep putting the pressure on, and you make it so Web now has to adjust after what was a completely camp-based game and find an answer to it. Nope. Almost going to get carried <laughs> off, but the immediate uh, roll back in and jump, going to avoid getting stretchered away. Yeah, no, uh, J Mafia has his uh, foot firmly uh, you know, on the throat right now as... Uh, you know, WebJP trying to get itself back in the thick of things, but again, boost kick from across the stage, not going to do him any good. Again, the counter pick coming uh, to fail him right there. Yeah, just barely missing, and then that jump armor coming through once again, just to avoid that side B, the big, just extra big damage added on. That's oh! looking for the roll away. You know, you covered the roll two times out, so you anticipate the buffer back in, and you have a stock. So even losing on that up smash there, it's fine. You got one missed call, but you still have plenty of game to go. Looking for it again, not going for a jab block in that situation. But, you know, all of a sudden, Web finding a few, finding a few wins, but at 104%, it's going to be pretty rough. Yeah, at this point, J Mafia is just, you know, yeah, just kind of play it safe. Look for, you know, your, your kill confirmed. Don't do anything cute. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, WebJP is the one that's going to have to sweat a little bit harder here. Yeah, always keep it simple, keep it clean. Try to find your way to just get that that quick KO, get that anti ear. But Web, I like I like the confidence Web still sticking to it, just going off stage, trying to look for potential. Oh my spike. god. What's the option here? J Mafia just trying to cover the jumps. You already know, you know, an up smash is coming pretty soon. Just looking for an answer, looking for a short hop back here. 
Uh, you know, 94%? Webb actually hasn't taken too much damage to this stock. No, he hasn't, but again, you, you have to play this whole uh, last stock frame perfect, man. He has mm -hmm. zero wiggle room here. Oh, oh but the back hit a down. So, oh, sweet God. Jeez. That was actually really good. That, that was a solid frame chat because if Webb if web, uh, matches out too quick there, you get hit. Well, if you, you just cover the potential air dodge in, because most of the time they're not going to air dodge out, you'd be afraid to have to get uh, get edge guarded. You cover it with that down smash. It was actually in a window where uh, it looked like Webb was trying to get the jab out. Like, it wasn't true of a frame trap, 